Alright, so in this video let's talk about the uh, sum and difference identities for sine. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to use uh, the sum and difference formulas to evaluate or to find the exact value of trig functions like uh, sine of 75 degrees and stuff like that. Uh, so here we have the sine of a plus b is equal to sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b and the sine of a minus b is sine a cosine b minus cosine a sine b. You can see that the formulas are the same. The only difference is the sine in between them. For the, sine, for the sum and difference of sine, if the sine in between a and b is plus, then this sine's plus. If it's minus, then this is minus. All right, so let's let's take a look at an example. We have the sine of 75 degrees, and we want to find the exact value. All right, so we don't know the exact value of 75 degrees, but what angles do we know the exact values of? Well, we know uh, 30 degrees. 45 degrees, 60 degrees, uh, we know 90 degrees, 180, 270, 360, and we know 0 degrees. Alright, so what we're going to do here is this 75 degrees, we're going to rewrite it using these angles that we know. Well, if you see here, the 30 degrees and the 45 degrees, well, 30 plus 45 is 75. So we're going to rewrite 75 degrees as the sine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. Okay? And remember our formula, sine A plus B, okay, is equal to sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B. Alright, so what we have here, you see the A here? Well that would be our 45 degrees and the B would be our 30 degrees. So A we're going to replace with 45 degrees and B we're going to replace with 30 degrees. So we have the sine of 75 degrees is equal to, alright remember 45 goes in the place of A, 30 goes in the place of B. Let me go ahead and just, let me go ahead and write an extra step. Okay, so the sine of 75 is equal to the sine of 45 plus 30. And so this is equal to the sine of A, okay, sine of A, which is 45, times the cosine of B, okay, and B is 30, plus the cosine of A, which is 45, times the sine of of B and B is 30. Okay, and now we can evaluate this because we know the sine of 45, we know the cosine of 45, and we know the cosine and the sine of 30 degrees. So the sine of 45, that's square root of 2 over 2, times the cosine of 30, and the cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2 plus the cosine of 45, which is square root of 2 over 2, times the sine of 30. And the sine of 30 is 1 half. So if we multiply, we get 
square root of 6 over 4 plus, and then multiply this, we get square root of 2 over 2. I'm sorry, not square root of 2 over 2. How about square root of 2 over 4? And 2 times 2 is 4. And so then I can add, so I get square root of 6 plus square root of 2 over 4. And this would be our final answer. And don't make the mistake of adding these and putting the square root of 8 because you can't add those because you don't have the same number under the radical sign. All right, so let's look at one more. We got the sine of pi over 12. All right, and remember, the only ones we know, we know 30, 45, and 60. Well, remember, 30 degrees, that's pi over 6 in radians. 45 degrees is pi over 4 in radians. And uh, 60 degrees is pi over 3 in radians. All right. So how can we rewrite pi over 12? Well, this would equal the sine of now, pi over 12, well, I need 12 and 12, okay, in my denominator. And so, let's see, how about 4 pi and 3 pi? And I can subtract them. 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12 is just pi over 12, and then these fractions here will reduce, so that's going to be the sine of, and that's going to be pi over 3 minus pi over 4. Okay. All right. So let's write our formula down. We have, I'm going to write it in a different color. So we have the sine of a, and in this case we have minus b, is sine a cosine b minus cosine a sine b. Okay, and in this case we have a is pi over 3 and b is pi over 4. All right, <clears throat> so I have the sine of pi over 12 is equal to the sine of pi over 3 minus pi over 4. Okay. And so I write the formula out. That's going to be sine pi over 3 times cosine pi over 4 minus cosine pi over 3 times sine pi over 4. Okay. And so the sine of pi over 3, what's the sine of pi over 3? Well, that's the same as the sine of 60. So that's going to be square root of 3 over 2 times cosine pi over 4, which is the same as cosine 45. minus the cosine of pi over 3. Well, what's the cosine of pi over 3? It's the same as cosine 60. So that's 1 half and times the sine of, 40, of pi over 4, which is the same as 45. So that's square root of 2 over 2. And so if I multiply, I get square root of 6 over 4 minus square root of 2 over 4, and then I can combine these. That'd be square root of 6 minus square root of 2, all that over 4. And this would be our final answer. So I hope the videos help. And if you like them, you can watch my other ones, and uh, you can subscribe. All right, thanks.